Hello friends, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about flame hardening and induction hardening process. So let us start. In flame hardening process, you are heating the sample at an elevated temperature by using flames. The flame is generally oxyacetylene flame which has a very high temperature. So you are heating the sample very quickly to the austenite temperature, austenite zone. From there you are quenching the sample very quickly by using water jets. So here in this image, if you see, there are torches of oxyacetylene which provides the flame. The sample is heated instantly to a very high temperature and it is passing through these flames. And as it is passing simultaneously, it is getting heated as well as it is getting cooled by these water jets which are there at the bottom. So immediately the temperature is very high. It is going to austenite then after that immediately again it is getting quenched by the water jets which are there at the bottom. So flame hardening is a surface treatment method. Here the core inside is softer and the surface becomes harder because we are only heating the surface and quenching the surface immediately. We are not allowing the flame to go in the bulk of the sample. We are not allowing that. We are heating it very quickly and immediately as the surface of the sample is heated we are cooling it with the water jet so the core is not heated so a case depth of up to six millimeters can be achieved in flame hardening and we can even you know increase or decrease it based on the movement of the sample which we are giving so if we are moving the sample very fast we will get very smaller case depth so if we are taking some time to move the sample up and then allowing it to cool by using water jets it will take some more time and then it will have some more case depth also uh, we do flame hardening for larger parts and uh, it is also portable you can see that we are using torches and we can take these torches to different places we have to pick up the cylinder as well and then go so mainly when we have bigger samples we can't take these samples to the place where you want to do flame hardening so we are taking these flames to the sample there we are doing the flame hardening process. Next is induction hardening. So the main difference between flame hardening and induction hardening is that we are inducing heat electrically. We are using coils to heat the sample rather than flames. So that is the major difference and the main difference between flame hardening and induction hardening. The next stages are same that we are heating the sample to austenite range then we are quenching it immediately by using water jet so the setup is almost similar to the flame hardening setup here again but we have a coil which are there around the sample with the help of the coil we are heating the sample to an elevated temperature to austenite range from there we are holding it for very few seconds because we want the case depth and then finally as the sample is moving up we are quenching it from the bottom so these steps second and third steps are same as we have in flame hardening process in induction hardening the case depth which we are getting is very uniform so unlike flame hardening where you are using flame the case depth may or may not be uniform but here because we are using coil the depth which we are getting is very uniform so that is why it is used where we want the case depth to be uniform like lathe guideways. So friends, this was a very quick video on flame hardening and induction hardening. In flame hardening, we are using flames to heat the sample to a certain temperature. Then from that temperature, we are quenching using water jets. And in induction hardening, we are heating the sample using induction coils and we are heating it to a certain temperature, mainly austenite range. From there, we are quenching it using water jets. In flame hardening, the case depth you get is around 6 mm, but it is not uniform. In induction hardening, you are getting little lesser case depth, but you are getting very uniform case. Thanks for watching. All the best.